In this video, I'm going to talk about where Mobile and Baldwin County buys groceries. I'm also going to give you some details and the inside scoop on some lesser known stores that the locals absolutely love. So let's go ahead and dive in. Hey, my name is Jeff Jones with Keller Williams right here in the beautiful city of Mobile where I've lived my entire life. Now, I created this channel to answer questions and help people who are considering making the big move down to lower Alabama. I also created a video and audio podcast called Living in Mobile, Alabama. You know, I've got the link below. You can check that out. But there's several episodes where I'm just talking with regular folks uh, and they're getting to really tell their stories about what life is like actually living in Mobile. So definitely check that out, but also check out the link below where you can get a free copy of the Mobile City Guide from the Chamber of Commerce uh, with all the details about what it's like to live, work, and play in this beautiful place that I like to call home. Now, I absolutely love getting phone calls, text messages, emails. You know, I look down at my phone and it's somebody I don't recognize. I love it. And the questions about moving to this entire area, whether it's Baldwin County, Mobile County, all over Lower Alabama. And I love getting to walk you through those steps. So don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always dropping brand new videos about all things Mobile and Baldwin County. Before we get started, I want to remind you, you'll definitely want to stick around to the end where I talk about my favorite grocery store and what makes it so special and different from all the rest. So let's go ahead and start with the one that's been getting the most attention lately, and that of course is Publix. Now, there are five locations in the greater Mobile area, and there are five locations on the Eastern Shore, with more on the way. Now, Publix as a national chain, there are over 1,300 stores in total, and they're known for having an amazing deli. Now, I've had several situations at corporate events, you know, where the buffet line had chicken fingers, and trust me, I'm a connoisseur of fine chicken fingers. Uh, so I asked the event planner, I said, you know, where did, where did these chicken fingers come from? Uh, and they said they came from Publix. I was in total shock, but this has happened to me on numerous occasions. So uh, that should tell you they are really amazing. I've also had several friends who go by Publix almost every single day to grab dinner from the deli. It's fast, it's convenient, uh, but also the stores itself, they're very clean. You know, the cashiers, they're usually very nice. And also, Publix uh, is known for often hiring folks as young as 14 years old to give them a head start in the workforce. Uh, Publix is becoming the most popular grocery chain in our area, and once you've seen it, well, you will absolutely understand why. Well, Publix is pretty amazing. Now, another place, Rouse's Market. Uh, this regional chain has over 60 locations. It's based out of Louisiana, and you can really tell that from some of the items they have. They're very unique. Uh, there are four locations in Mobile, and there are two locations on the Eastern Shore. And it's very common for them to have specialty items known as Cajun uh, in the deli department. Uh, they're a great place where you can get fresh crawfish. Now, don't say crayfish. The locals will definitely know you're not from here. Uh, but just know uh, that, what, that when you walk in the door, you're going to get some unique items, but that place, it as well, is amazing. Now, another favorite in our area is Winn-Dixie. Win dixie has been around for a long time, uh, since I want to say around the 20s. They've got about 500 stores. Uh, they have a strong presence in the South, so it's kind of regional. Uh, there are currently seven locations in the Mobile area, with just one on the Eastern Shore. Now, the one thing I found consistent about Win dixie is they've always had good quality meats, steak in particular. And also, my dad has been a huge fan of their Ziggler brand, so keep that in mind. Now, Another local favorite has got to be the Fresh Market. This is a special place for sure. You know, they've got about 160 locations nationally, but only one location in Mobile and one on the Eastern Shore. Uh, and it's very popular as you can imagine. And yes, it's true, we did have a Whole Foods in Mobile uh, just recently, uh, but it just really wasn't supported. And I have a feeling that the pandemic kind of put the final nail in the coffin. Uh, it's not there anymore, but long before Whole Foods came to town, Fresh Market was here, uh, and they have stood the test of time, and they remain. So they're in an area called Spring Hill, just off of Airport Boulevard. This is a very popular area of Mobile. You know, this is the kind of place you can go and get a specialty bottle of wine, 
a rare selection of organic items and high quality meats that you can't find just at any other place. They have a great deli, bakery. Uh, it's really a, a very popular place, but also if you're a foodie, this is definitely going to be the place for you. Now, another place is called, it's called Piggly Wiggly. And what else can I say about that? <laughs> Piggly Wiggly, you know, they've been around for a long time, about 100 years. Uh, now they have uh, about 500 locations nationally. Now here locally, uh, I think we've got about nine locations in the Mobile area, two on the Eastern Shore. And I've heard, I've heard there's a really nice new location coming to Mobile, right in that central Mobile area. Uh, and I haven't been to a lot of Piggly Wigglies in my life because they really haven't been in locations where I've lived. But this area is going to change all of that. It's going to be super close. And I am very, let me repeat, I'm very excited about that. Target. Hey, what else can I say about Target? Uh, you know, they pretty much got everything you can imagine. There are two locations in Mobile. There's one down by the mall and there's one out in West Mobile. And there's one across the bay in Daphne. And the name Target pretty much speaks for itself. Um, you know, they've certainly increased their grocery store items, I will say. The other day I was walking through there and I thought, man, they pretty much have everything. Uh, the other thing is they have a Starbucks inside. So you're walking around, you need a little pick-me-up. Well, that is an added bonus. And that's one reason why I like going to Target. Now, the other one is a big one, Walmart. We have to talk about Walmart. Uh, on the Mobile side of the bay, we've got 12 locations, with six of those being what they call the neighborhood market. So you know, that's a smaller store, you know, specializes in, in grocery store items, whereas the other Walmarts have pretty much everything. Now on the Eastern Shore, they only have two locations of Walmart. And what I will tell you is the Eastern Shore tends to be a little more resistant to corporate America. Uh, at least that's what I've noticed. You know, a lot of folks, they give Walmart a hard time, but I will tell you this. There's one thing you can say for sure, and that is their prices are great. Another great place that, uh, well, this place, you have to see it. Pictures will not do it justice, but it's called the International Food Pack. It's actually owned by a client I've worked with in the past. Uh, they're located in the heart of Spring Hill, just off of Old Shell, across from a beautiful park that's very popular. You know, the best way for me to describe this, and I thought about it, but it's actually to read a review that I found on Facebook uh, by a customer. This will give you some insight into what they offer in the words of an actual customer. And you'll see some photos on the screen that will showcase what's available. So here's what they said. Mobile's best kept secret. If you don't already know, the best hummus in town. Uh, they do house-made specialty grape leaves on Friday. Their feta dip is a must-have. It's insanely good. Uh, best gyros in town. Uh, large selection of seasoning, most, you know, most of the stuff you can't find locally, uh, and it's very well priced. They've got fantastic beer and wine selection, the only place to get feta in the brine. Uh, they carry Greek, French, and Bulgarian. Uh, all in all, don't sleep on this place. Run, don't walk, you will not regret it. Now, needless to say, uh, that is a great international favorite, and folks absolutely love it. Now, as I promised, I said I would save something special for the end. My absolute favorite place, it's called Greer's. And it's a local favorite in Mobile. It started in 1916 with a slogan that all the locals know. It's called Greer's Got It. We guarantee it. <laughs> they have 29 locations, uh, with my favorite being in downtown Mobile. Uh, they've got a location in downtown that's got a rooftop bar. They've got a lot of specialty items down below. Uh, and it's when, within walking distance of so many places. You know, that was the biggest complaint. People in downtown were saying, hey, we don't have a grocery store in downtown that's walkable. Well, Greer stepped up to the place, uh, up to the plate, and they made that happen, and people absolutely love it. Now, before I get attacked in the comments, yes, I did leave off this very important grocery store chain. It's brand new to the Mobile area. It's called Aldi. We've got several locations, and I am so sorry that I forgot about it, but uh, I do want to say that I'll be making another video with more updates about things that are in West Mobile. We've got another one out in the uh, Tillman's Corner area, and there's another one right by the interstate um, just off of I-65. So this is a great choice for a lot of folks. They've got great prices, um, but I apologize. So please don't butcher me in the comments, but let me know. Did I miss anything else? I'd love to hear from you. All right. Well, that's it. I hope, you know, this gives you an idea of what it's like to shop for groceries in the Mobile, Baldwin County area, all around Mobile, um, all around the Eastern Shore. 
Um, you know, I love making these videos. I hope you can tell that. I, I hope it's helpful. I love answering questions when people reach out to me. Um, it really is something I enjoy doing. It's a passion. Uh, so if you have a question, you know, shoot me an email, text message, however you want to reach out, I'll be happy to do it. But don't forget to like and subscribe. We're always dropping new videos. And don't forget about getting the city guide. You can click on the link below and download that. Check out my podcast if you have other questions. But if you want to know what it's like to uh, live in Mobile in Baldwin County, um, that's where you're going to find that info. I cannot wait to make the next video. I absolutely love getting to showcase this place that I like to call home. Oh, 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 oh,